In this video, I want to introduce permutations and combinations and tell you what they're all about and also help you remember and think about intuitively how they're different. So to do that, let's just first imagine that you're trying to get into a secret door and there are three buttons to press. You've got a red button, you've got a yellow button, and you've got a blue button. And all you know is two things. Whatever the code is to get in the door, it is two buttons long. So you have to press two of these buttons. And the other thing you know is that the code has no repeated buttons in it. So for example, if I start with a red, I know the second button can't also be a red. It's gotta be something else. There's no repeated buttons. So I can start with a red, and then I can follow with either a yellow or a blue. So those are two codes right there. We've got red, yellow, red, blue. If I start with a yellow though, I could finish with a red or a blue. And if I start with a blue, I can finish with a red or a yellow, right? So there are how many, these are called permutations, right? Think about this for a moment. Right here we have our examples of six permutations. Because of the permutation, it's all about order. Order is what really matters. And what I remember for pat permutation, you might think, well, the letter P, it's like a password. With passwords or codes, in this case, to get in the door, the order really matters. If you press red than yellow, that's certainly different than pressing yellow and red. I press red and blue, that's different from blue and red. And I press yellow and blue, that's different from blue and yellow. All of those orders are different. So these are six permutations. And with P, permutations, passwords, order matters, right? So order matters with a permutation. Now with combinations though, it's a little bit different. So for combinations, just imagine a different scenario. Instead of a password or buttons to get through a secret door. Imagine you're, you're painting and you're painting with red paint, right? Do red paint and then yellow paint and blue paint. And for whatever reason, imagine you're only allowed to mix two of the colors. And just to keep it consistent, Let's imagine there's no reason to double up a color. You're not gonna take one part red and mix it with another part red. You've gotta mix two different colors. How many different colors can you make? In this case, if you were to start listing out all the same possibilities as before, take one part red and then mix it with yellow or blue, take one part blue and mix it with, oops, mix it with, we'll do red first to be consistent, red, and then yellow, or you can start with yellow. Sorry about that. You can start with yellow and then finish with red or blue. Now, when we look at these combinations, when we look at these combinations here, we're not looking at order. We're looking, because we're looking at color, we're just looking at the group itself. So for example, red and then yellow is the same as yellow and red. Why? Well, when you're mixing color, you might remember this from primary colors. When you mix red and yellow, you get orange. So this is an example of orange, and so is this. We don't need to count both. So I can cross that one out. So, that, so I have my first combination is red and yellow. That makes orange. Then I mix red and blue, and I get purple. Well, that's the same as blue and red. I cross that out. And then here, yellow and blue is the same as blue and yellow. They both make green. So if we think, in this case, looking at mixing color, there are only three combinations. And you can see that that's different than the number of permutations because with combinations, order, they say doesn't matter. Doesn't, oops, I ran out of room. Let me just clear this off. Order doesn't matter for combinations. And those are for combinations. There are three combinations. Now, so if you're trying to remember combinations, I well, you could use a mnemonic. You could say, well, we have the letter C, so I think of mixing color, right? 
when you're mixing color, the order in which you mix the color, I suppose maybe there is situations where this is not true, but in most situations, you're mixing color, the order doesn't matter, right? If I mix red and blue or blue and red, as long as it's one part of blue, one part of red doesn't matter which order I choose. Either way, I get purple. So combinations are about situations where order is irrelevant. It's only the groups that matter, right? This group is different from this one. They have different elements in it. Yellow, blue as well. Those are different groups. Whereas permutations, think passwords, order mm -hmm. matters. A group of red and yellow is different from a group of yellow and red because the order in which they appear is different. And think, just like passwords, order matters for permutations. All right, I hope this helps.